It's your boy Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another video. You might be wondering where am I? Why am I here? The sound for the original video came out quite bad, so I've had to do a voiceover over these videos. So the voice and the video might not synchronize, but just listen to the voice that I'm speaking with. It's your boy Mr. CV, I'm back, I'm back with another special video. You might be wondering why I'm here and why I've got my bike next to me called John, as I normally call it. I was cycling around this place and I was cycling, it was a very, very long cycle that day. The weather was so much better as well that day and somehow my tyre popped and I discovered this place. I made a video about it and I posted it on my TikTok page, but I'm going to be posting the video in my next video so watch out for it and i'm definitely sure you'll be you definitely like the video also i'm gonna put the link of the video that i did make where my tire got punctured and you can always click on that link and watch the video the reason why i'm gonna post it in my next video is because it's got music inside it and you might be flagged off with copyright and i don't want this video to get copyright so for anyone wondering, this is a place called Buckus Hill, which is in Essex. So if you want to check out the place, you're free to do so. But today I want to talk about a very, very special video. A very, very, very special video. So recently I just turned 28 actually. And it got me thinking because I'm starting to get quite old now. And I can feel it because my hair is starting to go and I have to go bald. But it's okay as long as I feel good with myself. And I'm, thankfully, I mean, I'm in a very, very good uh, health and in good shape. I don't suffer from any diseases or anything, so I'm very, very grateful for that. But as I'm turning 28 now, I have to think because I have to start thinking about things such as marriage and stuff. Because marriage, in my religion, being a Muslim, marriage is quite a big thing. But also, marriage as well is not something that's very mostly. But when you get married, it's considered to be completing half of your deen, which is half of your faith. So, Marriage is like a big thing, so I'm asking to consider But through the process, obviously, marriage itself, it can get quite complicated actually. And it can get very, very complicated for a lot of people due to a lot of things. This could be in terms of religion, this could be in terms of race, this could be in terms of so many things. So it's not even that, that straightforward, it's not as easy. You would think, because you're both from the same religion, from the same faith, it should make it easier but sometimes it gets very difficult. Recently, I know of some people, they wanted to get married. The girl comes from another race, the guy also comes from another country. In the process of communicating, talking to the girl, she was saying things such as, um, my family will not accept someone from a black culture. My family will not accept a black person. If I go back to the religion, as in my religion, I don't know about your religion, it might be the same, it might be different. My religion states you can marry any race, to be honest with you. So it's quite sad when you hear of people saying, oh, I can't marry this person because they're Asian. I can't marry this person because they're black. And the sad part is the girl, she actually likes black men. And the issue there is, obviously, because her family can't accept her marrying a black person, it's so difficult. But I felt quite sad inside because it's like, if she, if she gets married, she might marry someone from her country or her way. But it might not be truly the person she wants. She might not be truly happy. Because it might not be someone that she truly wants to be married to. And that is quite, that is quite sad. That is quite tough to accept. But then also, I was thinking, I was looking at it from the other side. Because I just don't like to look at it from one side. And I like looking at it from the other side. In terms of culture and things, it can be quite tricky. Because I do know, a long time ago, I do hear of people getting, basically getting abandoned by their family because they've disrespected what their family wanted. And especially when it comes to like Asian or a lot of communities. Even black communities as well. If you don't do what your parents say, sometimes it can be quite tricky. You, you can be left in your home. And it can be very, very tough as well. And as well. There was something that the person did mention that they do in their culture. So in their culture, I'm going to talk about uh, a Bangladesh culture, Bengali culture. So if I got it wrong, please, any person that is back from Bangladesh, 
of a Bengali, please correct me. But they do something called Nayor. Nayor is where? For example, if the girl gets married. Because she's newly married, she's still settling into the family life. So for that reason, she goes to her family's house for a couple of weeks or every other couple of weeks and spends some couple of weeks there or days there or whatever agreed time. But the kind of issue for me personally is if I get married, to be honest with you, I want to spend as much time with my wife as possible. And if, if she's going every couple of weeks to her family's house. Spend time with her family. I'm not saying she can't spend time with her family, but if she's staying there for a length amount of time, then maybe two, three weeks, every other week or every six weeks. I'll be honest with you. For me, I want my wife to myself, to be honest with you. I'm going to be selfish and say I want my wife to myself. I'm not saying she can't go visit her family. Of course she can. But it's not going to be every, let's say six weeks, she's spending three weeks with her family. So those kind of things culturally are quite hard if you marry someone else from another culture. It's not as easy as, oh yeah, we're from the same religion, yeah, let's just get married. There are some things, there are some criteria, and these are things that I might have to consider in. If I want to get married as well. And these are things that people might have to consider Considering. Culturally as well, you're married to someone else's culture, someone else's family, the way they do things is a bit different. So that might be different from the way you're, you've grown up or your culture and language as well is another barrier. So, like I said, I'm starting to get older now. Marriage is a big thing in Islam as well, in my religion. People always focus on, oh, you can marry up to four wives as a guy. But no, there are some conditions that come with it. You can't just go and say, yeah, I want to marry some four wives. There's got to be conditions in terms of, can you be equal? Can you be just? For me personally, I've always said it and I've said it in many videos. I don't know, it might change. We can never say never. For me, one wife is enough. That's enough for me personally. It can never know. But the more I start to think about it, marriage is not as straightforward, it's not as easy as it should be, or as it can be, or as it should be, or as people make it to be. So if you are out there thinking about marriage, there are some considerations because obviously, if you're going to marry other cultures or other religions, there are some things you might have to put in place. And I even remember a friend of mine. He was going out with some girl from another culture. Or some girl from another country. He was even saying that, wow, some certain in things. my culture, or within a Nigerian culture that the girl failed to understand. And even he was finding it difficult. And he was a Christian. So that's what I'm saying that regardless of the religion. Marriage itself is a tricky it's a difficult, difficult thing and it's a thing you have to put so many considerations. There's some people that only want to marry people from their culture. I've even heard some people, not out of, not out of like they're racist or they don't accept other cultures, but they just say they just prefer to marry someone from their country. I'm a person, I'm quite open-minded to be honest with me. I'm just, I'm quite open-minded. Obviously, growing up in this country, I'm quite open-minded. Not too fast to be fair, as long as, obviously, culturally, I understand there might be difficulties and also some people are scared about the families they might want to get married to as well obviously that plays a major part but like i said i'm starting to get older marriage is a big thing it's a thing that obviously i will need to consider but there are so many things to consider and if you're looking for marriage or looking for other things as well you do have to start making considerations because these are big big life changes these are big big life things that you're getting into and marriage is not that easy i hope this video hopefully to see new perspective to see two sides hopefully this video makes sense hopefully you enjoy this video. hopefully before you get married you think about so many other things as well this could be financially this could be so many things it's not as straightforward as you think the more i keep thinking about it the more it seems like it's not as straightforward as it should be just because you are from both from the same religion doesn't mean it's going to be straightforward. There are some challenges. There are some tricky parts. Hopefully, I hope you find a very, very nice person. I hope I find a very, very nice person too. And that understands me. That understands religious perspective. My culture as well. It's your boy, Mr. CV. I'm going to leave you right there. Hope you have a nice day and take care.